morning, lovelies. Zoe Shudots here with some more ZTD news for you, your weekly update in Pokemon Go news. So, again, sorry for the inconsistency, moving house, all kinds of crazy stuff happening, but we'll be back into the proper flow of things going forward from today. So, there's a lot of news to get into. Let's jump into it. And the first big bit of news is the AR photo contest, the Go Snapshot Challenge, uh, where you can literally win a trip to Go Fest win flights and a ticket to go fest of your choice this year. I go into way more detail in the video up here, so if you need to hear a bit more about the themes, when it's running from, the terms and conditions and things like that, please watch that video after this one. But essentially, get hyped because AR photo contest, one of my favorite features in the game, AR photography, and you guys can literally win some insane prizes. You can win pokey stops in your area, like, Check it out after this one. And probably by now, as well, you've heard from just about every human, including myself in the Pokemon Go sphere, that there are three Go Fests for this year, Dortmund, uh, Chicago, and then an unannounced Asian Go Fest as well. So dates for all of those are gonna be in the links in the description. And also we have got the dates for the next three upcoming community days. So links for that on the official Pokemon Go website, but make sure you add them into your diary so you can kind of schedule around your community. Uh, your community days, what you're going to do with your community on the community days uh, and have it all organized for the next few months ahead. For those of you who have been asking as well, yes, I am intending to attend all of the three Go Fests. In what capacity, I don't know. Will I be sponsored? Will I be paying for myself? I don't know yet. I'll let you guys know when I do know, but either way, I'm making it my job to get there for all of them, to meet you lovelies, to do some trades, raids, all that wonderful stuff and share the experience with you all as well. Up after that, we have got Latios raids swooping in for next week. So starting on April 15th, 1 p.m. San Francisco time, which is the morning of the 16th here uh, on the East Coast of Australia, we're gonna be having Latios just swoop in. It's gonna be joining uh, Giratina raids. So we'll be sharing that slot for the level five raids, but shiny Latios as a potential in the raids as well. So I'll be in Singapore for these. Fingers crossed I can get myself a shiny one because it's a really nice shiny. It's that nice tealy shiny. I really enjoy So that's going to be going for a full week uh, until the 22nd slash 23rd if you're uh, in Australia slash this kind of side of the time zone. Get out there, sneak some raids in. It is the better of the, the two, the Latias and Latios. Uh, it's a bit more like heavy duty and packs a punch. So this is kind of like the one that you want to use if you need more dragon type attackers and things like that. This week as well, the feature for Lucky Friends was dropped in the game and believe it or not, I still don't have a Lucky Friend. It's been like three days as of recording this. It's been like three days of Lucky Friends and I still don't have a Lucky Friend at all. Mm. So I'm gonna keep at it. I really wanted to get a few before Sentosa for some spicy trades, but who knows? Let me know in the comments, have you gotten lucky? Have you got some lucky friends already in your list? Have you done some lucky trades? Let me know down below. But essentially to get lucky friends, you need to be best friends with that person. And uh, on the first interaction with each of your best friends that day, you'll have a chance to turn into lucky friends. So if it doesn't happen on the first interaction, it's not gonna happen that day with that person. So it's just gonna wait for the next day. So fingers crossed that you guys have been getting some nice lucky friends out there too. As well this week, we saw the introduction of avatar poses. Uh, I took the plunge and I purchased one just for the fun of it, just to see how it worked and to show you guys kind of how it works as well. They're expensive. I mean, let's be honest, if you're a regular or a free to play player, you're probably not going to do this. Um, the only reason I pretty much did this is as I, I had an abundance of coins. I've been getting my 50 daily coins for a couple of weeks now and I haven't purchased any boxes in a while. Just did it for the flavor. Plus, it's kind of my job to show you guys the features. So. I took the hit for the team. Keep in mind though, if you are walking with a buddy that is a held buddy or a shoulder sitting buddy, it will revert your pose back to the standard, just like standard pose. You can't have like, you know, the over the shoulder with your Pidgey on your shoulder, sadly. Um, I don't know if this lane's gonna be changed in the future, but just keep in mind in case you're someone like me, who normally just walks with a Togepi, uh, you can't kind of have both. So yeah, rip. But just to keep you guys informed, that's how it's gonna work. And lastly, the extravaganza event, the Easter themed event is going to be starting next week as well. Going from the 16th, uh, again, San Francisco time, uh, to the 23rd, so a full week, we're going to be seeing shiny Baneri, uh, different babies in two kilometer eggs, different Pokemon overall have been hinted at for just hatching. So potentially in five, two and 10k eggs, we'll be seeing something new or different. I'm not sure what to take out of that, but fingers crossed it's something cool. 
We're gonna have two times hatch candy. We're gonna have two times incubator effectiveness. So hatching eggs in half the amount of distance and then lucky eggs lasting for twice as long. Plus some egg based or egg themed research. I don't know what this is gonna be besides hatch X number of eggs. We'll have to wait and see. But keep in mind, if you're someone who still needs something like maybe a Kranidos or a Shield on, they, I mean, I don't know what it's gonna change during this event, but they are popping out of 10K eggs. If you can line up your existing 10 kilometer eggs to hatch once this event starts, the double candy from that is going to be phenomenal and take like a massive chunk of your way up towards the evolution. So I've got a whole bunch of 10Ks. I'm gonna incubate them on the, what's it gonna be for me? I'll incubate them on the Monday evening. So that when it starts for me on the Tuesday, because of my time zone, Hopefully they'll be hatching within time for that. So fingers crossed we get some crazy candy out of that. Fingers crossed you guys get some good candy out of that too. Uh, personally, I'm looking forward to this event. However, um, you know, the bug event, the grass event weren't really doing it for me. I didn't get that excited about it. This event though, like egg hatching is one of my favorite things and shiny binary with that cotton candy fluff is just too cute. So personally, I'm excited. I hope that it is a rewarding and like a fulfilling event. We'll have to wait and see. And lastly, let's jump into our AR photos of the week. And it's been a little while, so there's gonna be quite a few features this week. So let's jump into it. I've got a good feeling that a lot of you guys are gonna be competing in the AR photo contest as well. And I can't wait to see if one of you guys ends up winning because there's always some spicy stuff from these lovelies. First up, we've got Ken Ken Pokemon Photos JP with this adorable Lucario set. So the trainer here with their Lucario, just the energy in this, the lighting is beautiful, the color is beautiful. I, I love, love, love people and Pokemon together. Thank you for this fantastic shot. After that, we've got Pokemon Love 777 with this really cute shield on uh, doing, is this like tobogganing, sledding? Um, this is super, super cute. My alternative to this in Australia is like a cardboard box on a grassy hill. So this is super duper cute. I love the placement, very fun little story. Thank you. After that, we have got Totoletti uh, sharing some delicious ice cream with an adorable little baby, trying their first little sweets. Again, the lighting's great, the color, like the complimentary colors of the cherry blossoms, I'm guessing. Really lovely, good placement, thank you. After that, we have an Adhaka with this adorable shiny Umbreon. Again, a good little combination of people and Pokemon. Where are you guys going? What are, where are we walking to? I wanna know where you guys are gonna go today. Again, another account that always has some really fantastic people and Pokemon interactions, so be sure to check them out if you wanna see some of that. Next up is this one from Pokemon trainer Cole with some spicy editing on the shadows here as well. And you know, a bit of sneaky editing to put uh, Charmeleon behind the counter here, but really great position and placement and choice for photo location. That fire is out of control. I'm guessing you guys had some nice tapenyaki. 10 out of 10, really like it. Really cute placement, good. Up after that is Ash Ketchup with this Caterpie. And I believe this was part of the Pokemon Camouflage Week. So photographing Pokemon kind of blending into their environments. Really nice placement. Really beautiful color correction and sneaky little Caterpie just hiding away in there. Thank you. Up next is Growlithe Girl with this Growlithe. Holy heck, where do you live? I'm pretty sure this is somewhere in the UK. Just the view from here is stunning. Really fantastic placement of Pokemon and yourself together. Holy dooly. I need to visit wherever this is. Just looks like an amazing morning walk that you guys have gone on together. Thank you so, so much for this picture. Next up is Pogo and Snaps. And can you see the low tide? Which one is it? The placement, especially for shiny Lotad is fantastic. It's just such a clever little way to view a Pokemon. I find in Pokemon Go, you can get some really crazy angles and see way more about a Pokemon just by elevating yourself and looking at Pokemon from just completely new angles. This photograph, I absolutely adore it. Thank you, thank you so, so much. Up next is trainer Will I Am with this Scyther and their son. So I hope they were all getting along at the park together here. And congratulations on the shiny Scyther as well. That is so, so lucky. Thank you for the photograph and great placement and great interaction. Up after that is Kuma Photos with this Luxray. And this whole account, I haven't, I don't think I've seen this account before, but this entire account is filled with wonderful Pokemon placements. And they really kind of specialize in catching the Pokemons uh, emotion and animation. So they kind of snap the photograph at the exact right time to get the Pokemon smiling or growling or whatever that mid animation might be. And it makes for a really, really, really engaging feed. So make sure you go through a scroll through their whole profile, 
absolutely wonderful stuff here, guys. Thank you, Kuma, for the photo. And lastly, we have Pokemon watching with this Melotic. It is... Oh my god, stunning. Again, where is it? I mean, it says Switzerland up the top there, actually, so it's in Switzerland. So beautiful here, and like, this, the new shadows in the game as well bring so much more life to this photograph. Absolutely stunning, just beautiful mountains, beautiful lake. <sighs> Can I visit here too? This looks amazing. Also, how did you get it to face the other way if it's like, I hope you like had a little bit of rock to stand on. I hope you didn't have to get wet to take this photo. So, far out, 10 out of 10, thank you. Remember guys, if you'd like the chance to get your photo featured on ZTD News, use the hashtag ZTD News on Instagram so I can see all your posts. And as I promised, I will be putting like AR photos at the end of each, like proper episode and things going forward. So sorry this week's been a bit nuts with moving house. Like look at how messy my, it's like not even pretty yet. Don't look at them. I haven't finished setting everything up yet. So going forward though, we'll be putting AR photos at the end of every video just so I can kind of feature a few more of you guys and share the love. So make sure to keep your stuff on theme if there's a new event. I'll be trying to put those things in with that event. And as well for the AR uh, competition as well, when you're submitting those posts, I'm gonna be trying to like sharing my favorites as the weeks go on too. Let me know in the comments down below, guys, which of these events coming up are you excited for? Will you be attending any of the Go Fests and things like that? Let me know in the comments down below. If you are new, be sure to subscribe. Thank you all for leaving a like, and I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful morning, noon, night, whatever time it is for you, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye. Thank you.